Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. What's good? You guys knew pretty much this unit had to be tested on the new last resort category team because of how ridiculous this unit actually is and honestly it's all about having fun and enjoying you know the testing and showcase for this unit. So of course I am referring to the 100% potential Chaoman unit on the last resort category because this unit does fall into it along with the fusion category. So. We'll go ahead and get started and see how this unit does, but before we begin, definitely make sure to like the video if you enjoy the content, and if you're new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button. So again, this is the uh, physical type Chaoman unit. Leader skill is a physical type HP and defense increases 60%. Super tech causes mass damage to all enemies while sacrificing 20% HP, and let me tell you, that 20% HP definitely kicks in every super attack, especially if you have built-in additionals for the uh, potential levels. Uh, passive skills key plus 8 attack increase to 3000 when HP is 50% or below one time only. In terms of links, it is pretty horrendous. Infighter is at least a good one. Attack increase to 10%. Enemies defense minus 10%. Telekinesis is enemies defense minus 10%. Courage is key plus 1. Uh, Master and Pupil is also key plus 1. Fuse Fighter is key plus 2. That's a pretty useful link because you can include a lot of uh, fusion category units on the uh, last category or last, last resort category. <clears throat> Again, the category listings are fusion and last resort. At 100% potential, you're looking at uh, the following stats HP of 14,327, attack is 12,253, and defense is 9,357. 12 key multiplier is 130%. And I didn't realize how old this unit actually is. I'm looking at the uh, information and it, this unit actually did release on August 25th of 2016. So it's been close to to four years coming up in a few months. That is pretty, pretty ridiculous. Um, didn't realize that. But yeah, again, I mean, this is ultimately just to have fun. Uh, shits and giggles more or less. And um, yeah, 20% sacrificing HP with every super attack can definitely quickly decrease HP overall and I guess the saving grace for that or maybe the usefulness of this unit being included on a team is for units that require a certain percentage of HP to be below that or you know whatever for transformations or active skills whatever the case is but outside of that this unit really is a liability plus it's not really a hard hitting unit it is interesting because uh, the super attack does cause mass damage to all enemies, so it is an AoE type super attack, but again, you're really not looking at significant amount of damages. Uh, maybe uh, somewhere down the road you're looking at a potential Dokkan Awaken to a TUR state, but at this point in time, I mean, you're looking at max level 100, so certainly hurts that this unit doesn't, you know, at the very least have like shattering the limit, I think with that additional key link it would definitely make things a lot easier but as long as you have fuse fighter i mean it's a key plus two link skill so again a lot of units with that key link can be included on the team so of course that's not too bad uh in this overall team build for this particular showcase you are looking at a lot of support on the rotation like the supreme kai time is is certainly a good one with the uh passive and whatnot but you know, a couple of links are shared with that, with between Chowman and uh, Supreme Kai time as well. Uh, Topo, obviously a pretty, pretty nice uh, supporting type unit with the attack and defense boost as well as reducing enemies' uh, defense as well. So it's it's pretty nice. Uh, you do have Turles as well. Of course, you know, without the transformation, you're looking at a 40% increase toward attack for allies. Um, with the transformation, you're looking at reducing enemies or super type enemies' defense. So. You know, it can definitely be beneficial in that regard as well. But ultimately, I think it comes down to the fact that this this unit really is um, uh, a trophy unit. Shits and giggles if you decide to rainbow the unit, you know, stuff like that. Outside of that, there's not really any uh, practical uses. I don't think including this unit on a team just to reduce HP down for, you know, transformation or active skill purposes is really that beneficial. You're better off, you know, bringing a much more solid unit. So... Yeah, at the end of the day, this is really just a, a shits and giggles showcase just to have fun, mess around a little bit and see how the unit does. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun seeing units like this being tested on newer categories. You know, it's it's it makes it definitely more entertaining and enjoyable for, for myself. And I'm, I'm guessing for those watching right now, 
this is pretty much why the only reason you're watching is just to see how ridiculous of a unit this is and and seeing the unit on one of the newest categories so of course you know you you definitely don't want this unit to be linked up with uh vegeto blue or gogeta blue honestly they're much much better uh supporting cast members on a team for that instead of you know this unit so yeah i mean this is really just a matter of of having having fun and and seeing how things go go with that but it'll be interesting though at the at, at the very least see how the uh, potential dokkan awakening would be because a lot of units that are obsolete and pretty much very weak in nature once they receive a dokkan awakening they actually become pretty damn good so maybe it'll be one of those units where a dokkan awaken will actually make this unit pretty powerful you know we'll see i mean i don't know if it'll ever happen maybe eventually at some point when uh dokkan battle runs out of ideas maybe but at this point in time i feel like this unit's uh potential dokkan awakening is definitely on the on the bottom of the uh priority hierarchy so to speak but yeah i mean it'll be it'll be funny when eventually the uh the rest of the dragon ball fusions units uh end up getting some dokkan awakenings because there are a few that that do have them like um Kaori and Barlet are one of them. Um, I'm sure there's a couple that I can't think of right now, but yeah, I mean, it, it can certainly happen. It's just a matter of if they decide to decide to implement it, and uh, we'll see from there. But outside of that, this is one of those troll units, and it's pretty much known in the community for that. I think um, honestly, like picking picking up copies of this, um, you can't really get too mad at it. It's almost like funny when it when it shows up, you know, because of how much of a troll unit this this guy actually is, but uh, you know, with that being said, it's still uh, it's still one of the more interesting units in the game, and I, I think a lot of it is is based on having fun with some of the more obsolete units and seeing how they perform on uh, the newer categories. I mean, if you guys have any ideas on some of the units you you guys would want to see on, you know, for example, the last resort category or one of the newer ones, definitely let me know, and and I'll definitely work on it because. You know, this this channel has always been central around showcasing, you know, obsolete, uh, underdog, you know, dark horse type units and, you know, typically characters and cards that that aren't always in the limelight. You know what I mean? Try and try and big bring a little bit of exposure to them and seeing how they do on, you know, their best case scenarios or newer categories or whatever the case is. And, and a lot of uh, a lot of fun is, is the result of that. So. Again, I'm guessing you guys watching right now are pretty much watching for that reason alone. Let's see how he does with the Dokkan mode attack here though. I think it'll be decent enough. Um, again, the super attack is an AO AOE type, so all the units do get uh, damage applied. Uh, you probably saw that with the Turles battle earlier as well, but in situations you're fighting against you know, a variety of different types of enemies on the same same uh, battle you know it, it can certainly be somewhat beneficial like that Dokkan mode attack pretty much cleared the map um, obviously the numbers were relatively low uh, compared to some of the other units I mean it's almost like you're better off getting additional attacks with you know Vegito blue for example because the uh, damage will be far exceeding but it's a little bit unfair to be honest to compare a Chao Man unit to one of the best uh, units in the game. So it is quite unfair to make that comparison, but you know the point being, it's it's definitely a, a very obsolete unit. Yeah, I guess the biggest thing is 20% HP sacrifice. That is a pretty big number. 20% is is certainly a lot larger than some of the other units that have, for example, 7%. I think was the Kaioken Blue Goku unit um, with the super attack, you know, you're talking about a 13% difference alone with each super attack. So consider a potential additional super attack and you're looking at a, a pretty substantial decrease toward HP. Again, I mean, it, it could be somewhat beneficial when you have to reduce the uh, team HP for, you know, activating super t uh, uh, ultimate attacks or active skills. And, and transformations and whatnot, but it's really not worth including a unit just for that, honestly, because, you know, especially in a tougher battle setting, uh, you're going to get the HP down to a certain level at some point anyway, so it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun seeing units like this tested out and, and seeing how they do.
I, I gotta be real with you for a second. Chowmat is actually not doing too bad uh, compared to what I thought it would be like. Honestly, yes, it is quite underwhelming, and you know, even at 100% potential, you're you're definitely seeing the limitations of the unit. But at the same time, it's he, he, you know the unit's doing pretty good. It's just quite ironic you can actually link them up with the fusion character units because of you know the fuse fighter link skill. Um, it's it's at least a key boost and you know any boost is better than none I guess and uh, he's not really blocking the path of the other units potentially getting a super attack so key plus two at the end of the day is pretty beneficial to have. So I think we're getting close to wrapping up with uh, maybe the last super attack coming up. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I did want to test this out on the last resort category team. Because of course outside of fusion uh, category this unit does fall into it. So again hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys later. Alright peace out.